Kirchhoff, let me ask you, why do you think that uh, Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now? We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. For people who have seen The Truman Show, they know it is one of a kind. It is a story of an individual whose life is a reality TV show, which is run by a wild imagination of a clever television producer named Christoph. Since birth, his life has been a stage, a well-organized set that has thousands of actors that play in it, with hidden cameras placed everywhere in a fictitious town of Sea Haven, synthetic salt water, sand imported from the Gobi Desert, and a sky made from a polymer fabric for the space program. This movie, to this day, baffles me as to see how interesting some of this film's aspects were. I mean, there is so much to dissect here. I don't mean the fake set and the extent the producers go to construct this reality TV show in the movie. I am talking about the deception of these acts, how everyone plays a certain role, how their demeanors change exactly at the time when they see Truman. See, I've had this fascination with books for some years now, and I read this book called The Presentation of Self in Everyday Life by a famous sociologist named Irving Goffman. I couldn't help but notice but to find myself thinking of The Truman Show while reading it. The book emphasizes that the world is a stage. We are better actors than we think we are. We are all wearing masks in society, and that these masks are cultivated through past experiences, belief systems, and our environment. He developed a concept of the metaphorical idea and called it dramaturgy, breaking it into two parts, which are front stage and backstage. Front stage of a live performance occurs in situations in which we interact with others in public or a professional setting, such as with work, friends and even our neighbours. This is when we know others are watching. The expressions we give and the intentional poses, facial expressions, smiles, surprises, excitement and other controlled body language are part of this element. We can do this on a conscious or a subconscious level. In the Truman Show's case, we see this clearly. The actors know they are doing this on a conscious level because they are part of this play, literally. Although I'm trying to make you see this theory from Truman's perspective, who is completely oblivious to what is going on. For the purpose of this video, let's pretend we are like Truman, naive and not knowing what is happening around him. See, his peers are acting in the element of the front stage. The impressions played out here are always portrayed in front of Truman because they know they are are in front of Truman and the millions of people watching the show. Why don't you let me fix you some of this new mo cocoa drink? All natural cocoa beans from the upper slopes of Mount Nicaragua, no artificial sweeteners. What the hell are you talking about? Who are you talking to? I've tasted other cocos. This is the best. Performances in the stage are usually intentional and purposeful. Front stage behavior follows a system of routine like demeanor and some sort of a social script, that of which from enough repetition becomes habitual. See, whatever the front stage element the individual is acting, he or she is usually aware of it. It's a version of ourselves that we want people to believe. In the Truman Show, this example can constantly be shown. Truman's friends, co-workers, his neighbor, wife, and even his mother act their front stage parts well. And comes the backstage, the realist version of ourselves. Acts of backstage differ from those of the front. It is when we are alone in our private time, when no one is watching, when fear of judgment or the worry about showing our true selves to others does not matter. When people are acting in this element of the stage, they are usually getting ready to learn how the characters are going to portray when it comes to front stage behaviors, how they're going to act, what they're going to say to others, how they're going to smile. It becomes a well-rehearsed maneuver and gets them prepared for the public, although their main public in this scenario is Truman. The problem Goffman says in the front stage element arises when someone one slips and accidentally shows their backstage behavior while trying to portray their front. It can lead to confusion, embarrassment, and controversy. This is shown so well in the film as we literally see actors changing their personas from the front to the back instantly, or the actors in the set accidentally revealing their backstage personas. This facade shows us the true nature of the people around us and the superficial masks they portray in The Truman Show. <laughs> Peter Weir and writer Andrew Nichol created a masterpiece that to this day has many interpretations. Wearing masks is inevitable. I can't say this movie should warn us about the presentations of ourselves because we all wear masks. Some of us know that we are and some of us don't. It's fascinating to see the movie incrementally showing Truman's realization of what is really going on around him and him eventually liberating into the real world where the unknown awaits. Although even then he will be part of a play which is the world that surrounds him. 
Life is simply a series of performances. I myself am engaged in one right now, with you, in which I'm trying to convey not only information about Goffman and The Truman Show to you, but information about me through the confidence in which I speak on the topic and the knowledge I have learned from this book and this film. The only thing is, you have not seen any of my backstage performance in creating this video. You haven't seen the mistakes when it came in editing, the numerous voiceovers I conducted on the microphone, the frustration of my laptop dying midway while writing the script for this episode. And that's fine because you saw what I wanted you to see, the end product, the front stage. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. The Truman Show blows my mind every time I watch this film. I remember watching it in high school as a teenager and I didn't really relate to it in that many levels until I started watching it as an adult. Um, I had to relate the presentation of self in everyday life by Irving Goffman and this film. I thought these both elements correlated well because the whole portrayal of everyone wearing, everyone wearing masks in society, um, the film shows that and the book obviously goes in more detail. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching it. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe and share it with your friends and hope to see you guys soon. My Joker video should be there. Um, thank you.